Hi, my name is Glenda Halewood. I'm the company manager of the Phoenix Performers, which is a performing arts group for children and young people uh, aged 3 to 25, based in Rill, where we teach children and young people singing, acting and dancing. And it boosts their confidence and self-esteem and uh, where they all make new friends and have fun um, through the art of performance. Phoenix Performance was formed by myself 15 years ago. Uh, we have 10 leaders and we're all volunteers. We all work full time um, and we give up our time for free. So there's a lot of work involved behind the scenes, setting up for state, uh, shows and um, performances and running the workshops. So we give uh, all our time for free, which is quite difficult. Uh, we started it 15 years ago because we'd just come out of the little theatre and uh, we decided we wanted to carry on. So that's why we decided to carry on doing uh, and, uh, a performing arts group and we called ourselves the Phoenix Performers. Um, the phoenix is a symbol of somebody, the phoenix bird rises up out of the ashes and is reformed, it's regrowth and that's where, why we called ourselves the phoenix and of course performers because we perform. When I set it up I was a single parent with four teenage children and I couldn't afford many activities for them. Uh, so when we started at Phoenix I purposely decided that we would make it as affordable for the community as possible, especially for lots of sibling groups. So if you come to Phoenix we now charge £3 for a morning session. If you can't attend because you're ill or you're on holiday you don't have to pay. Uh, we're based now at uh, Four Glass Community Centre. Uh, we're here on Saturdays, um, half past nine till one o'clock, different times for different ages, and on Wednesday nights, seven till nine o'clock. Uh, we're based at Ford Glass Community Centre in Rio, uh, Saturday mornings, half nine until one o'clock, for all ages. Uh, three to six-year-olds are half nine till quarter past ten, and then half past ten till one, are 7 to 11 year olds and then from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock is 13 plus. We're also here on a Wednesday night uh, what, uh, 7 till 9 o'clock for the 13 plus age group and we do all the workshops in acting, singing and dancing. Uh, the Phoenix Performers, I'm very proud of the group because uh, a lot of young people have been through um, our group and they've gone on to university and college and um, not necessarily to do performing arts uh, to do other courses as well and they keep in touch it's like making uh, friends for life we feel like we're one big family and uh, the young people do come along and talk to us about their problems it could be school homework and um, we've had a, some young people come through and uh, they're now working in the business and um, other people just come for a short period of time but some people have come and they've just sat at the side of the room and not done anything for maybe two or three weeks and then the next thing is they're slowly getting involved with the, with the dancing maybe or the singing as part of a group and the next month or so they're right at the front dancing and maybe even singing solos and it's just such a confidence builder um, it brings it out of yourself and it's such a support to all the other young people around you. Um, it has been uh, the Phoenix's 15th birthday this October, we've been going for 15 years. Uh, I can't believe it's been that long actually. Uh, we've had a big struggle through Covid like a lot of other companies. As we were into the shutdown, we had a lot of young people that were 15, 16, 17 and during the two year shutdown they've gone on to college, university or to work and unfortunately they've not been able to come back. Uh, it's such hard to lose so much talent that it left a big, big hole in our group. But we're slowly rebuilding, we've moved to a new premises which are bigger, better, cleaner and we have a kitchen so I can make a cup of which is a big bonus and um, 
having both the youth and the children both in this uh, facility is a help to be in the same place and they allow us to store things here as well so it's been really good uh, being based here. Um, so yeah, Covid has been a big problem for everybody so as I say we're slowly building back up now and we've got quite a few new members that have not been on the stage before but we're, um, we're getting there slowly. Any new members are always welcome um, just to help backstage even if you don't want to perform. You can always get involved in costume and prop making um, and helping out in the dressing rooms. So that's us at Phoenix. <laughs> Hopefully in the next five years uh, we'll still be going just as strong. It just depends on all the leaders being able to commit their time. As I say, they all give their time for free. They've all got families, young families now. And uh, some of them are my grandchildren and they're now members of Phoenix as well. So um, hopefully, you know, we'll just carry on going. As long as I can keep going, I'll carry on going. And um, next year, we hope to do a big production, uh, like something um, that's been in the West End in the past. Get out of my shot! <laughs> <laughs>